Linda and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Will Smith and what happened at the Oscars and what we can learn from it. But first, if you are new to this channel, welcome. Here we talk about how to apply spiritual and personal development concepts to live a more meaningful and fulfilling life. And if you find this content helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now, the reason that I wanted to talk about this is because it showed up on my YouTube feed. I mean, at this point, it's pretty much inescapable. And I've mentioned before in other videos that I do not follow Hollywood celebrities or culture. I barely watch any movies. I actually don't watch TV, but I do consume a lot of online content, like maybe YouTube um, articles, etc. And this has been showing up non-stop since it happened there are really a lot of angles to this situation and i am familiar with obviously will smith and his family and i did see what happened at the oscars and shortly thereafter and i also am aware of what's been happening with the family for the last few months so there really are a lot of angles to assess this and address this from, but I'm going to basically focus on what my perspective of the whole situation is. And first and foremost, I will say that I am not really sure that this is real. I'm kind of on the fence. I'm well, not kind of, I'm really on the fence. I'm pretty much 50, 50 about it because I do think that it looked real. Uh, however, they are both great actors. Will Smith especially is a really, really good actor. And the timing of this is just really interesting because obviously Oscars and all of those award shows, their, their uh, visibility and their ratings have declined considerably uh, over the last decade, really, but especially in the last couple of years. And also there's been a lot of controversy with them not having, you know, people of color, you know, headlining and winning awards, etc. So it just seems a little too, I don't know, I don't want to use the word perfect because it's certainly not a perfect scenario, but it does seem a little bit too on the nose that as ratings are dropping, this happens and all of a sudden everybody is now interested in the Oscars again. So I everything I'm going to say from this point forward is based on me suspending that belief or that um, doubt of whether this is real or not. Let's just assume for the sake of this discussion that in fact it is. So at first I want to say that I am aware that Jada Pinkett Smith suffers from alopecia and in fact I've actually years ago had an issue with severe hair loss myself so I definitely sympathize and empathize with her and I know how traumatic it can certainly be even if other people don't seem to understand that or feel like you look that much different, et cetera. It can be very, very traumatic for someone that is going through that. And I certainly believe that the joke that Chris Rock made was insensitive. It is also true at the same time that part of the role really of comedians at this award shows is to pretty much take the piss of actors and celebrities so those two things can be true you know it can be that chris rock was doing his job and that the comment and the joke that he made was insensitive now i personally happen to have a pretty dark sense of humor so i don't know if that would have been something that would have bothered me or offended me but i can certainly understand how and why it would offend, hurt, and bother someone else. And the other thing that we can hold as true is that Will Smith's behavior was inappropriate. Now, I've seen a lot of things online about the fact that he did what he should have done, etc. I would like to believe that most people don't think that addressing these types of situations with physical violence is the best approach. So I think the two things that I can hold true at this time or as factual is that Chris Rock did something insensitive and Will Smith 
shouldn't have resorted to physical violence. From this point forward, it just gets messier and more complicated, right? Because this is a very nuanced situation. And I think the first part that I want to say is that it is a tricky situation because they are celebrities, they are public figures, but furthermore, they have actually really put their business out there for, well, really for the last few years on the, I think it's called the Red Table show that Jada has, but especially over the last few months, talking about her, her, I don't know if I could call it an affair, but her situation trip that she had with that other singer. So they really put a lot of their business out there for the public to consume. Now, again, it doesn't take away from the fact that this is something different, right? This is something, a medical condition that probably had a lot of emotional impact on her that she was going through. But in reality, they have put a lot of their business out there. So it is certainly a factor, not as much when it comes to the joke, but when it comes to Will's reaction and his behavior because my perspective on this is I think what I've heard a lot of people say is that he was defending his wife and to me this doesn't look like a man defending his wife or his wife's honor this to me looks like a man that is defending his honor and trying to assert his masculinity that in reality has been challenged considerably over the last few months what this really feels to me is that he was already feeling really insecure because when his wife was talking about this other relationship that she had, which, by the way, there had been rumors about that for months and it years in some instances, but the rumors were going out pretty strongly, going on pretty strongly for several months before they came out and talked about it. And I, if I remember correctly, they had even denied it at some point. So once that happened once i was put out there what i heard was a lot of other men judging him and calling him all kinds of names and saying how she disrespected him when in truth we don't really know if she cheated on him this seemed to me what little i know of it that it was more like a situation where they had maybe like an open relationship within certain parameters i don't a lot of people have a lot of judgment about that i do not because i have several friends that are in those types of relationships where they're open or polyamorous so while it's not something that i choose for myself i'm fairly open-minded about it for other people because i've been exposed to it for quite some time but it seems like a lot of people had a lot of judgment about it because it's not what is conventional and it's not what they would choose for themselves so they were calling will all kinds of names and saying all kinds of things about him and disrespecting him to a great degree and you can see from even that that conversation that they had on the show that it pained him and i'm not sure that the situation pained him as much as it was other people's critiques and other people's opinions about him and about what was going on i also want to mention something i had seen this was way before any of this unfolded it was several years ago when he was talking about when he met jada and they started dating and how insecure he felt around tupac because she was you know really good friends with him and based on that i always got the sense that will smith feels or felt i don't want to say less than but felt really insecure about his image versus the image of Tupac. Someone like Tupac who was considered to be, you know, revolutionary and a really strong person, a really strong character and very masculine. Whereas Will for the better part of his career, or at least for half of his career, was really looked at as, you know, someone who was goofy and funny and just lanky. And you kind of, you know, like the funny guy, but not the manly, manly man. Which is often the case, right? In order for you to be triggered about something, that implies that there has to be a previous wound that hasn't been healed. I do not believe this was entirely about his wife. Yes, I do feel that maybe he was offended on her behalf and felt protective of her and saw her reaction and felt like he needed to defend her or protect her in some way. However, there's a lot more productive ways to do that. 
And the reason I feel that this was more about him than it was about Jada and her feelings is that when you want to protect someone and you want to be uh, protective and supportive of someone who's hurt, an emotionally intelligent person would try to provide support and protection in the way that that other person feels it, in a way that feels good to them. And what he did instead was storm the stage and created a complete scene that is now going to be recorded for all posterity, right? So when you're trying to be supportive or protective of someone, you need to keep in mind the outcome and the goal, which is show that person support, protection, etc., right? And what he did with his actions or his reaction more accurately actually in some ways, in my opinion, is something that would be a lot more embarrassing to her because if he had done nothing and maybe dealt with it privately, or maybe there's a lot of other ways where he could have maybe had a small outburst and yell from his seat at Chris Rock, which he did after he slapped him, right? He ended up doing that afterwards. Had he done just that, it would have conveyed the message to Chris if this was real, right, Chris would have recognized that he was upset because it wasn't part of a bid or a skit or anything like that, but everybody else would probably have taken it as a joke. The moment would have passed and everybody would have moved on. Maybe people would have commented on it here and there afterwards, but it wouldn't have become the big deal that it did because when he reacted, he now made this a huge issue, which is actually, in my opinion, potentially a lot more embarrassing for her, right? Because now this is going worldwide where everybody's talking about what Will Smith did. And in order for them to talk about that, they need to talk about Jada's humiliation. Now, maybe she views this completely differently and she feels like he did the right thing and this is him defending her honor. I tend to believe that that's not the case just based on what little I've seen of her show on YouTube. Uh, she seems to be someone that is conscious or at least trying to pursue the journey of consciousness. So I don't know that how she would have felt about this. I seem to believe that she wouldn't have liked it. And again, in fact, it brought more humiliation, right? So think about the times when you feel embarrassed or you feel ashamed or you feel humiliated. The more attention you get from others, the more humiliated you feel. So in that situation, if I was Jada, and I'm not, right? I have a completely different life, completely different life experience. What I would have found more supportive would have been for my husband or partner to hold my hand and maybe signal to the comedian, to Chris Rock, like do a, you know, hand over the next signal, like, you know, cut it out or she's getting offended or something like that, but then hold my hand and support me and give me a kiss, give me a hug. And then after the event is over, go address it or in the commercial break or whatever it is, go address it privately with him. That's what I would have liked and that's what would have felt supportive and protective to me. An outburst like this would have only served to really humiliate me. So maybe a lot of my opinion on this is based on my own life experiences and my own perspective, but I do think that when you're trying to be supportive of someone or protective of someone, what you really want to do is focus on what's going to help them feel supported and protected by you. Now, like I said before, there's a lot of sides to this. And the other side that I find that I think is important that I haven't seen anybody talk about is that for me in particular, I'm not someone who, uh, most people do not consider me black. I don't identify as black because I don't have the same experiences as a black American person grow up, growing up in the United States. But I am undoubtedly a person of color. And by the way, some people do consider me black. It just depends on who you ask, right? But I am certainly a person of color. And as a person of color, I hate seeing other people of color 
doing things like this and supporting things like physical violence, et cetera. And I've had this happen before, right, where I've seen something in the news about a person uh, from like, say, I don't know, from some country doing something and I'm like, oh God, please don't let it be from Puerto Rico. Please don't let it be from Puerto Rico, right? It's like sort of that <laughs> secondhand embarrassment that you feel when someone of your, what you consider your tribe, what however you choose to define that, right? Does something embarrassing in front of the public, right? In front of strangers. I can help but have a part of me feel like, you know, over the last few years there's been a lot of outrage about black actors not being nominated for Oscars and a lot of other awards. In fact, I do, if I remember correctly, I think Jada boycotted one of the previous Oscars because Will hadn't been nominated. And it just, there's people, him and his family included in this, fighting for more equality in these types of platforms and then he goes and does something like this. Now that doesn't mean that it justifies the lack of diversity in the award ceremonies, in movies, in Hollywood, etc. Not at all, but it's sort of that kind of thing that you just don't want to see. Unfortunately, a night that should have and could have been one of the best nights of his life now turn into a circus. I just don't think that this was appropriate. It was a reaction instead of a response. And this is the sort, the reason why I wanted to talk about this, right, is because it is important that we understand what the difference is. Response is something that you do in context, in context of the situation, in context of where you are, in context of how you're feeling, in context of how the other person is feeling, in this case, the other person being Jada, in context of what you know of the offender, which in this case would have been Chris Rock, right? And you take all of those things into account. You have to be aware of all of those variables, take them into account, and then choose a behavior that can have the best outcome possible. That is the outcome that would achieve the most potential for growth for everybody, but still conveys your boundaries, allows you to express your feelings, but in the most productive, constructive, and functional way. That is what responding is versus a reaction, which is you feel an emotion and the and you immediately react to that without taking into account the potential consequences of that behavior, which is what I believe he did. And that is really important to understand because a lot of the turmoil that we encounter in life and especially in our interpersonal relationships is because we're not taking the time to come to a place of awareness. We're not taking the time to identify what emotions we are feeling, potentially why we are feeling it, and then assess the situation as to what the other person said whether we are interpreting something potentially based on our own trauma and our own past through the filter of our own trauma and our own past experiences, asking, inquiring with the person as to what they meant and actually taking into account the context of the situation as a whole and then making a conscious choice on how to move forward. That is a huge problem that I see. And this, you can extrapolate this to the macro, right? We, this can go from the one-on-one -on -one relationship that you have with your romantic partner all the way out to world wars. Now, all that being said, I like both of them. I do think Chris Rock is a really good comedian and I do enjoy his humor. I didn't particularly find that joke funny, but, um, but that's also because my own struggle and because I did find it insensitive. However, I do think he's a really good comedian. And in this particular circumstance, he was doing his job. I also do like Will Smith a lot. I was just really disappointed by his behavior. I, to be fair, I would have been disappointed no matter who did it, but particularly him because him and his wife seem to be really approaching their life in a more conscious way, or at least they talk like they are. So it was just disappointing for me to see that. 
However, I can also hold the truth of the fact that he is a human man. And just like all of us, sometimes, you know, his emotions get the best of him. And sometimes, you know, we are, when we have a lot on our plate, our tolerance, our threshold for what we can handle or tolerate is a lot less. And this is one of the other reasons why being conscious and aware of yourself, not just physically, but emotionally and psychologically is so important, right? Because you can know when I've had enough and I cannot take anything else. And I think this is the point where he was at last night. And unfortunately, he showed that to the world. So that being said, I do, while I was disappointed in him, I do want to show him some grace because I do think he is a human being and he fucked up. He just made a mistake. But I'm glad that at least it seems like they've resolved it behind the scenes. And I just wanted to talk about it just so that people understand how important it is for us to be conscious and aware and how to use that leverage, that awareness to respond instead of react, to take actions that are more emotionally intelligent and moving us forward in life instead of setting us back.